Welcome back. It's time for Food Fluencer Friday International Edition. Over 8 million followers dive into her delicious and simple recipes. Today she's making us an authentic Lebanese summer dish. Please welcome the feel good foodie, Yumna Jawad. Hey! hey. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be here. All right, what are we doing? Thanks for coming. So, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, yep. so today we're making a Lebanese chicken kebab. We okay. call it shish tawu. Shish means like stick or skewer, and uh -huh. tawu um, means chicken. Okay. So we're going to start stick with the marinade. Chicken. Okay. So okay. Mark is going to go ahead and smash six cloves of garlic. Just smash right. it. Whoa, Just those are serious garlic cloves. <laughs> those are, All right. Maybe, Dang. yeah, those are six ginormous garlic cloves. Elephant garlic. And then, Jenny, if you want to go ahead and squeeze some lemon juice into there. <laughs> on Mark? Or yes, <laughs> into this big bowl. Okay. On Mark is good. Okay. Okay. Splash it with some lemon juice. Okay. And you can use this. Oh, to okay. avoid oh. getting any See, kind of you know what? I'm just bare bones. <laughs> I don't even we mess go ahead with and put thing. in there. That way we avoid the seeds in there. So oh, the okay. marinade is going to be lemon juice, yogurt, tomato yeah. paste, <laughs> lots of garlic, and some oh. special seasoning. Great. And what I like about this marinade is the yogurt tenderizes the chicken. Yeah. It also makes it a little bit tangy. It also just makes it more uh -huh. po more moist. So, so oh, I would love uh, that. type of yogurt. Throw you everything like? in there. You can just use whole plain yogurt, but if you don't have, you can also use some Greek yogurt. Okay. okay. You can throw the olive oil in there. All right. We've got some paprika, some cumin, Great. some uh, garlic it powder. It all goes in, yeah? Everything goes in there. Yeah, okay. so throw it all in there. And then, this Mark, if you want to go ahead and whisk it all together. Okay, great. And uh -huh. we're just going to get this oh, beautiful this orangey, well? beautiful uh, marinade color for the chicken. Okay. And then we'll add the chicken on top of it. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that yeah. color. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Comes out so good. And so the key here, too, is to also let it marinate for at least an hour if you're okay. patient, or at least 24 hours if you're extra patient. So okay. look, we got the beautiful color we have. And then, what about if you're not patient at all? If you're not How patient, I mean, it's still What's the bare minimum? five minutes while right. you throw I together some salad. <laughs> I could do that. And it turns out so like this. So now go ahead, yeah. Okay. And so now go ahead and add the chicken on top of okay. it. And then you can use the spoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the bowl, the bowl not of chicken. The bowl. <laughs> and then you can use the spoon to mix it together. Okay. Okay. Perfect, awesome. Okay. And then you want to, you can throw this on the grill with a salad or something, or you can just Amazing. skewer them like this, and we'll add them to the grill. So okay. let's go ahead and grill these. Let's grill these, baby. All right. <laughs> so we've got a heated grill. Some of these right here were already done. And then we're just going to throw them on the grill. I hear that sizzle. Ooh. And then put them on here. And how long, how long do you cook just these a, for? Just a few minutes each, and I try not to let them not, not to like touch them too much, just let them do their thing. Okay. Flip them after a few minutes, and then you can enjoy What's them. What's going on here? Oh, yes. That. Oh, so here. Okay. Okay. We'll just close that up and check on it. Okay. All right. We're gonna take. Yeah. Hey, listen. We're gonna go do the baba ganoush when we get back. Stick around. We're making some beautiful Lebanese food. Yeah. See you then. Hey, we're back with Feel Good Foodie, Yumna Jawad, and we're finishing up a traditional Lebanese dish. All right, so Mark, you asked me about the eggplant. Yes. There's a yes. ginormous eggplant Love right eggplant. here. What is this doing here for grilling week? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grill this and make baba ganoush with it. So okay. to grill it, what I like to do is I like to take a little knife and just or should I do this knife? I'll do a little, little? one. Okay. Just poke some holes all <laughs> just around like, it. Chill out. A little yeah, knife. Just I a said couple, little. little, and then okay. I would wrap it in aluminum foil. Okay. And then stick this in your oven if it's the winter time, or on the grill if it's summertime. Okay. And just let it cook for 45 minutes, and you don't have to okay. turn it. You don't have to touch it. What happens is, when it's done cooking, it looks like on all like, sides. Yes, on okay. all sides. And when it's done cooking, it'll look oh, like wow. this. Whoa! And you can just see like the skin is nice and soft. And so what we're gonna do after it's done cooking, uh -huh. so we'll switch that out. Okay, let's put this guy in. Yep, I'll okay. take this did guy. Did I do enough of you these? You did enough, yeah, just a few. <laughs> Would we it don't make want good it to TV if I like took a finger off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. And so slice off the stem from that cooked this one. This guy? Okay. We'll throw this guy on the grill. Let's see. And then Mark, if you mm. wanna go ahead and peel off the skin. Okay. Okay. Mm. We'll throw this guy on the grill. Okay. Yeah, because eggplants can be intimidating. They can I feel be like intimidating. People are scared to use an eggplant sometimes. I know, and so I think if you just throw it in the oven, it's not too bad, and then you can yeah. just peel it like this. So what we want is the flesh of it. It's going to be smoky. It's going to be caramelized. Yeah. It's going to have a nice little sweet flavor because it's on the grill. Am I doing then, this right? Just peel it perfect. off. That's perfect. It's actually okay. satisfying, I think, yeah. when you're peeling it. Now we throw it into the blender, mm -hmm. okay. and we'll take this off. And in addition to that, what we're going to do is some lemon juice okay. in here. So all we have is the flesh of the baba of the eggplant. Uh -huh. We'll do some lemon juice, two ginormous cloves of garlic. All right. Boy. Elephant garlic. And tahini. So <laughs> tahini, and tahini and sesame paste. I love tahini. So if these ingredients look familiar, it's what you use to make hummus. So hummus is the yes. exact same thing, but with chickpeas instead of eggplant. Yes. So we'll give that a blitz. 
Okay, let's blitz it. Blitz, blitz it. So let's throw this on there. Okay. And make sure everything is clicked. Good. Yeah. Perfect. And it, that's all it needs, that's honestly. It. it does not need a lot of time. Wow. If you if wow. you wanted to, there's a little chunk of garlic in there, mm. so we could pulse it more if we wanted to. Okay. okay. But the end texture <gasps> is gonna look, look like this. Look how beautiful that is. Look, you did such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, what can I that. say? Can I, I taste love, this? Yes, you should totally taste it. Oh my god. So can the I way I like to one? eat it. Mmm. Yes. Oh my god. So the way I like to eat it is we'll take some it. traditional pita. Okay. Yeah. This is right here. We have it nice and wrapped. So we'll have some pita right here. Mm. This is you better than the fried that. Okay, is it? Better it's better than the fried. The fried. Uh -huh. I bet. So you'll take some of this. Okay. And then we'll spread it on here, mm. all around. Okay. So you can go ahead and do that. Okay. Add some chicken on wow. top. Wow. Here, you Thank can make you. your own plate too. Yeah. And then we'll add some. I, mean, I don't have you time know, for I like to add a little bit of lettuce. Uh -huh. We'll do, you know, some dubaba in there. We've got mm. different types of Mediterranean-style pickles. Tomatoes, all kinds of things in it. So you eat it by itself. It's oh. so good. Eat it mm -hmm. with some crackers. Mm. It's amazing. Make it with pita chips. It's fabulous. Amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. That is so good. Mm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For this recipe and more, go to our website and check out the Feel Good Foodie on all social platforms. We'll be right back. Mm. If you would like to try any of this week's summer recipes, just go to our website at livewithkellyandmark.com.